Here's to a new month, new goals, and halfway through the year. Hi guys, welcome to another monthly reset. My name is Yesenia and I make motherhood, lifestyle, wellness, productivity videos. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe and watch more. This month, we are halfway through the year, which is just crazy because at times I feel like the year passes by like zooming by and then other times just really slow. So I don't know, interesting to be in the middle of 2023 already. But with that being said, let's reflect on our previous month, set goals for the upcoming month, see where we're at at the half year mark and just go on from there. And for this month, I did grab a wine as my beverage of choice just because I feel like the last week or so, month or so, it's been kind of like chaotic in my life and coffee's just not gonna do it, <laughs> water's not gonna do it. It's a little glass of wine at 3 p.m., who cares? The fact that it's June 3rd and now when I'm filming my dream reset goes a long way to show that it's been kind of like a crazy month because I usually like to film these a couple days before the first of the month. I also apologize for the noise, it is raining outside, it's been gloomy the past couple days, but that's not gonna stop us from having a productive day today. This is my home page and it's under home construction. So that's obviously gonna change. I have my productive corner for like my daily focus. I want to try to use like a daily thing with Notion, but not so much as like morning routine wash my face because I'm not gonna go on my app in the morning and check that off, you know? So daily focus would be like a daily to-do list like Monday to Friday. Um, you can see here, I wanted to film the June reset yesterday, but life so today's saturday and i'm actually filming this so i can just move this over here i am filming it so i'll check that off and then i have a couple things i want to do today like meal time for next week and then i was gonna film a reset vlog after family visits because that's why it's been kind of chaotic i had family back to back come visit for like half the month and i actually have family coming over again in about a week i've been feeling very stressed just because i want to have like a clean house but then i want to do certain things anyway you get you get the deal and then tomorrow i want to actually do the groceries the reason i don't meal plan and do groceries the same day is because i feel like i take time to like research new recipes i want to try and if i try to do that and then try to grocery shop the same day it's just way too much especially with a toddler running around it's not like i can just sit on my computer so i have to do it like the night before so tonight i'll do the meal planning tomorrow i'll do the grocery shopping especially because i'm trying to definitely work on my health and then update notion for next week i'm still working on the notion overall so i'll be working on this like pretty much every night until i get something i like as you can see here um this this is a mix of a bunch of different creators notions from like this page to my youtube page so this one was a copy from i forgot who but i will put them in the link description so that's my daily focus my goal page is where i'll have my monthly goals and i actually want to put like my year end goals my you know new year's goals and stuff like that things i want to achieve by the end of the year and that way i like having it on the same page because while i set my monthly goals i can see what i want to achieve by the end of the year and just remember like okay if i want to work on losing a couple pounds then i have to remember that for health and wellness i gotta eat better i gotta have like a workout routine if i want to reach 2000 subscribers on youtube then that means i have to have consistent uploads so it's just a little reminder and i like having it all in one page i'm still working on like the layout and stuff but i think i like having it like that so i can see where what i want to achieve by the end of the year and then what i can work on to achieve it. so since we are on this page i'm gonna go ahead and open up my old goals so my fun goals this past month, I didn't really achieve a lot of goals because I had family over and when I have family over, we don't really plan things, we kind of just go like day by day of the flow. So I didn't get to bake the bread, I still want to do that for sure because it sounds really fun. So I'm going to add that to my funsies list. And then some more fun goals that I did meet. I did have the mommy and me photo shoot, we did a little, a little Mother's Day mini photo shoot and it was so great, it was really really short. But we got some awesome pictures and that's really what I wanted. So I'm really happy I got to do that. I did start transitioning the guest room into A's room. It's just a little bit, but I mean, I still need to work on it. I did have a picnic. It's not the picnic I imagined, not at the park with like the blanket and the picnic basket, just because it was gloomy and then the time didn't work out. So my sister-in-law was here. We had a little picnic in her backyard. It was still like fun and technically it's still a picnic. 
get my notion set up i am obviously working on it and we're doing the monthly reset so i will say that i checked that off pin outfits on pinterest and recreate them i didn't get to do that one and that's something i still think it's gonna be really fun especially for summer yeah i'm just gonna take some inspiration from pinterest and recreate it so i'm gonna take that goal and just put it back into this month's goals finalize the bed layout or like the bedroom layout so those are my fun goals from last month that I just carried on to this month. I'm not sure what else I want to do this month. I feel like this is a pretty good amount, three little goals. I don't want to overdo it because I don't meet the goals. So we'll come back to that if I have anything to add. For health and wellness, let's see. I have been working out twice a week, which I'm so proud of. I've gone to the gym every week, minimum twice a week, and I've actually been going more often, like three to four days a week. So I'm very, very proud of that because my biggest issue is consistency. And now that I've been building a habit, I actually want to go to the gym. I try to make time to go to the gym instead of just saying, oh, I, I didn't have time today. So I didn't meet that goal. And while I met one goal, I didn't meet the other one of having daily walks. I don't know what happened. I feel like we used to do it every single day. And then I kind of just stopped. I still go on walks, but they were not daily. So let's just add that to the list because I want to be reminded that I should go on daily walks. Not today because it's thunderstorming outside, but when it's good. For making meals with more veggies, I'm gonna check this off because I've been working on it. I'm not perfect, but I have been sneaking in more spinach, more kale leaves into like smoothies. Some dinners I've been making like asparagus. So while I still could work on it more and I will, I definitely met my goal of just starting to incorporate more veggies into my diet, which also includes my toddler's diet. Drink two bottles of water a day. Um, I started strong and you can see in my previous videos, I was really going for it, but then I had no excuse. I just didn't drink it. <laughs> so yeah, let's, let's get that back. And again, I don't mean like these type of water bottles. I mean like the actual flask one or not flask, what's it called? I called it flask last time too, the, the big aluminum ones. One fun thing I'm actually doing is I want to run one mile every day for the month of June. And it is June 3rd today. I actually did run it yesterday. I ran June 1st. This is just like a little challenge I'm doing to myself just so I can, one, get back into running because I have this love-hate relationship with running. I enjoy running because it relieves my stress. I feel good after but I hate starting, you know, that's the hardest part. Just in like a two, three days of running, I can already see an improvement and that's so motivating to me. So I just thought a 30 day running challenge might be fun. It might get me back into the routine of running, which I think is obviously great, apart from lifting weights, which I do at the gym. So I am challenging myself to run one day in the month of June and I am making a little YouTube video on it to see the results and stuff. So definitely keep an eye out for that once June ends. And I also want to find one toddler approved breakfast. My toddler has become so picky all of a sudden with breakfast and it seems that she just loves pancakes and french toast, which I do make occasionally, but I just need to mix it up. I need to find a new breakfast thing that we can both eat. So that's my goal for June. Find one food that she will eat, love, and that we can just make for breakfast together, which is harder than it sounds, trust me. And that's pretty good for health and wellness. Now, passion. This is the section that I used to call like social media, but I instead, I saw some other creator that they call it a passion instead of work because this is what we want to do, what we want to create. And I don't want it to make it seem like it's work, especially because right now it's actually not. It's just a hobby. This is my passion. I think it's so fun. I love creating videos. So I think this is a great way to see it. And I feel like it kind of like helps you have a little more positive mindset towards it. My last month's goals was to have six videos posted on youtube but which i did post i actually almost posted twice a week almost every week but then again i had family over so i wasn't able to really film and edit and all that stuff but nonetheless i did have six videos which is freaking awesome posting two short form content pieces a week i feel like i did it for one week maybe two and then <laughs> just I didn't have any ideas and I didn't just want to copy other people's things. So one of my goals this past month was to make a blog and content schedule. And it's not finalized, it's not really perfect, but I am working on it, which I'll show you in just a little bit. Let's just put like finalized content schedule. 
especially because I am trying to work on my blog and honestly, the next goal was to make time to write once a week. I haven't done that. And I think that's just once I make the content schedule, it's gonna really help out with that. One of my year end goals is to have 50 posts on my blog. Right now I have like about three or four. So let's, let's keep that on here just so I can see it every week and work towards it. And as you can see here, one of my year end goals is to reach 2000 subscribers on YouTube. Right now I'm like at 248, so I'm a long way from there. But I'm just gonna put it here again so I can visualize it. If I wanna meet that goal, I'm gonna have to post twice a week and I think it is doable. I just need to get back on the ball game, a ball game for this month. This next section is the finance section, but I was like, you know what, let's, let's change the name. Let's put road to wealth because that's our end goal, right? We wanna have good financial success. We wanna be able to not think about money when we're buying things and all that stuff. So road to wealth, I like the name and this is my worst section every month because I don't work on it and I didn't meet my goals last month. I did not learn to invest and I did not order less food delivery. It just didn't happen. I really wanna budget. I just, I don't know where to start. So I'm gonna put create a budget. And I think what I'm gonna do is I wanna download one of those apps, I think like Chime or Mint or something. And then, so I can see all of my expenses in a month, see where it's going. I do know that a lot of it goes into like Instacart because I order deliveries. Sometimes I'm trying to cook and I don't wanna go to the grocery store with dollars. So I just order delivery and just food in general when I don't feel like cooking. So create a budget and then that's it one finance goal for the month because I need to really just focus on this one goal, creating a budget and going from there. Sorry for like the knife hand. I just, this is something I need to work on. So for my year end goals, um, I kind of like base this off a little bit of my aspirational goals, which you can see in my like 12 week year that I did back in January. I just feel like a lot of my aspirational goals are not numerical, like feel fit, healthy and confident. Yeah, like, that is a goal of mine, but it's not like a set number, you know? It's not like, oh, when I reach this, I will feel fit and confident and healthy. So what I'm trying to do is kind of like numeralize the goals and that way I can work towards it. So instead of feel fit, confident, and healthy, I could lose 40 pounds because that will take me back to my, like, my pre-pregnancy weight, which I was working out, I felt good, I was strong, I was lifting weights. So that puts me at a good Wait, so I put that as my year end goal. And then I actually have a table here where you can see my progress. So I did start a blog, completed it. It's up and running. Now I need to work on the blog post. So I have a 50 blog post. I have four on here right now. So you can see my little progress bar. It's, it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit there. And I feel like this is a good way to visualize, okay, am I meeting my goals? Am I on the right track? And all that good stuff. So here you can see uh, reach 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, working on it, have 50 blog posts to make $100 on social media. I know it's like really low, but obviously this is like a hobby for me. So if by the end of the year, I'm able to make 100 bucks, then I'm like, okay, I'm on the right track. You know, this is where I wanna go. Consistently attend therapy is at zero because I've mentioned in the past couple of videos, I've been trying to find one. I am still looking for one that we are a correct match for each other. And then once I do find it, I would like to go to like 10 sessions consistently. So that way I can work on myself and just become a better version of myself. Lose 40 pounds, like I mentioned, we are on the road to health this year. I'm working on it. I'm not sure if I wanna add it more to this just because I wanna meet these goals. So I don't wanna do too many, but I think it's pretty good. So this is my monthly goals for June. I feel like it's not overwhelming, it's not too much. It's a good amount, and I think I can definitely meet this in a month. So kind of just to show you the rest of my notion how I'm working on it. Um, meal planning is completely empty, and this is what I mean by you open up a page and it's so overwhelming, because it's like I can build a table, I can build like a board view of something. So I need to work on this for sure. I might keep it in the productive corner. I just put it there for now. I might make a whole fitness section, but we'll see. And then the social media hub, this has been stressing me out because I've been trying to create a content calendar and I've been trying to get ideas from so many different creators, but everybody has their own way to do it, which is great. And I'm just trying to like steal ideas. So I think this is the one, is this the one I'm working on? No, so that's not the one I was working on. This is the one I've been kind of working on. So 
I have my YouTube thing. I don't have a banner or anything right now. Oh, I do. <laughs> so I actually put a banner of myself, I forgot. And I put 50K subscribers. Obviously, I'm not nowhere near that, but it's my vision board for YouTube. I would like to reach that number one day, so I put it there. And then my YouTube goals are to upload every Monday and Thursday at 9 a.m. Central Time. And this is the upload schedule that I use for the month of May. I'm just gonna carry it on to June. I definitely want to have four uploads minimum, which is once a week. And then the last bullet is kind of just what I upload, which is lifestyle, motherhood, productivity, and wellness, just in case sometimes I forget. I'm like, oh, I just need to vlog something, but nothing's interesting going on. It's like, wait, I can do a productivity video or a wellness video. Reminder, this page is a work in progress, but I have my content area, and here I have like my YouTube content that I wanna do. So I'll have like my brain dump on this side, a morning routine, I can put like, you know, night routine. And I did create like a page where I can have, I did create this and I did get this idea from one of the creators I saw. And like, I can put like title ideas here, editing checklist, I made this one to like, just make sure I have everything done. I love that you can just transfer it because it's so satisfying, you know? The more satisfying it is, the more prone I am to doing something. So, so it makes it just a tad bit more fun and nice. So I love this board view. And then as you can see, I am editing a little Amazon mini summer dress haul. I was like four or five dresses. This one is actually on there. So you'll see that video coming up next week, probably. And then here I will see my content. But that's kind of like what my YouTube page looks like right now. And I think for the rest, they're kind of just empty. Oh, analytics. For analytics, I got the idea of like the table from Alexis Aldridge. I love her like reset videos. So I'm gonna like start tracking my subscribers and all that stuff, which actually let's do the month of June. Right now I have a 248 subscribers, which by the way, if you're new here, hi, hello, thank you for sticking around. Watch hours, I have a 2014 as of right now. And views, I have a 65,243. And then I kind of just put a month tag here so that way next year in June, I can kind of compare both months and like see how much I've grown or, you know, kind of compare, which I think will be fun. And it's, I think this is kind of gonna be the same for like Instagram and my blog. That's how I plan on tracking analytics. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it on a separate page or just put like the YouTube analytics in the YouTube section. I'm not 100% sure yet, but this is kind of like what my little notion is looking like. It is nowhere near done and it's not nearly as aesthetic as other creators, but I'm trying to do kind of something that just works for what I need it because I don't want to overfill it with too many pretty stuff and then I don't use it. But the things I wanted on here for sure were my content schedule, analytics, and a little to-do list of the week, which I'm working on, so I'm pretty proud of myself. This past month has been a little crazy, so I don't even think I got to like make a list of my favorites. I don't even know if I had any favorites. My mind is just like, on like a brain blank right now, or whatever it's called. <laughs> I am gonna work on just like organizing myself this month, organize my life, organize my notion, definitely have a little reset video after like family visits, because I kind of feel like after family visits, it just, you want to get back on your schedule, but then your house is messy and it's just a lot to work on. So anyways, that is it for my June reset. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'm sorry for the chaotic video today. I feel like my next reset will be better and we're going to be getting ready for summer, a hot mom summer. So get ready for that and I'll see you guys next time.